Support Laneside. Get something cool. Hey everybody and welcome to another edition of Laneside Reviews. As always, I'm the bearded beast, Rob Johnson, joined once again by Scoops Porter. And we've got some really exciting stuff to show you on this episode, so why don't we take it Laneside and see how it's stacked up. All right, guys, welcome back. As always, we're joined by Wayne Porter, our speed dominant player. And he's bowling on the easy house shot. And he is throwing the third release in the Quantum Evo line. Ooh, that hooked a lot. Wow. This is the hybrid. Now, we like, um, I, I mean, we always talk about we like um, asymmetric balls for our speed dominant players. But before we just say that this is good for him, let's talk yeah. a little bit about it. It has the Evolution Hybrid cover sock. Yep. And it's got the QCS18 core. Now, I just told you something, yeah. <laughs> and a lot of people don't realize this, but if you actually look on the Quantum Evo balls of the core system, that number that's on it is the mass bias number. Yeah, that kind of broke me. Like, yeah. I don't know why they don't talk about that more. But um. that it sits literally right in between the other two balls. Yeah. Where one, the, the, the solid is a 12, and the... The pearl is a twenty-four. Four, yeah, this, is, this an is an eighteen. So, um, so let's talk a little bit about this ball. Um, first of all, I mean, look how much it's been hooking. Yeah, for he's already moved once, and he still took off. Yeah, like he moved a four and three, and then he, well, he's gonna have to move again. You see how yeah. much it hooks. This thing's got a lot of surface out of box. It's uh, five hundred two thousand out of box, and it so feels a little chalky. Yeah, it's you can tell it's gritty, but I mean that's. That's what they were trying to do with the Quantums is make it hooky. Yep. Because they want it for heavy oil is what they're marketing it for. Yeah, medium right? so heavy. That's yeah. definitely – on a house shot, the out-of-box might be a little bunch. What do yeah, you think? Yeah. <laughs> we were talking about this prior, and this is – said you either put some compound on it maybe or – Well, five pin. Take it back to and go 500, 1,000, 2,000. Yep. Maybe even 3,000 just to, to – Get it a little bit further down in a nicer roll. Yeah. But now, I hate to say this, but this might actually be too much surface and too much ball for this condition for our speed dominant yeah, player. Yeah, yeah. I think maybe putting some compound or bringing the surface up, doing some skip yeah. sanding, maybe 3,000, 5,000. Yeah, yeah. That could work, too. Just to get it down a little farther, because this ball has no problem hooking. Oh, yeah. You're not going to neuter it by any means by doing that. Right? You're not taking away from anything. Because you've seen here... With our speed dominant players, what often happens is they get pushed so far left that the ball just can't recover. You saw yeah. a five pin last time. That yeah. one mostly made it yeah. back. But and that's the thing. Is it could be running out a little bit of energy, right? Yep. And he can't, because he's my dad, I can say this, he can't throw the ball hard anymore. Well, I mean, he can right? try. He can try. <laughs> <laughs> We just got to get those little feet going, like a, he, like a he, steam He can mower. do it for one game, <laughs> but if he had to keep throwing, you know, multiple games, it's yeah. definitely. He, he's going to get <coughs> tired. Yeah, and I, I can guarantee this ball is not something you're probably going to be throwing in game three or game four of a yeah. block anyways. And so, for our yeah. other speed down up players who their issue, rather than being rev deficient like yeah. your dad is, people who have the 19, 20, 21 mile an hour speed, yeah. you can see you threw that one a little harder. That looks pretty good. Yeah, that's better. See? Um, for those who throw harder, they are already throwing as hard as they can. Yeah. Oh, so exactly. they, they can't make it go hard. Yeah. <laughs> and it, it out-of-box surface might be better for them, too. Yep. With the higher speed, right? I think right? for the higher speed, speed, yeah. yeah. At least on a house shot. Yeah. I mean, it looks pretty good. I mean, he, he would really, like, if this was on, a like, a sports shot, or, or a heavier that, oil, like yeah. Like heavy. Over the summer, so. we, we've talked about this a few times. Here he is with, with our bonus, our benchmark ball. Over the summer, we tend to get a little bit less oil, a little bit more friction. Yeah. the Our house only has a couple leaks in the summertime, yep. and that's when it gets oiled. And I don't care what anybody says about stripping lanes and everything. I've been around enough doing that part of the game mm -hmm. that the more you oil the, the lanes, the more the oil is going to be there. Yep. Um, so it does start acting a little bit heavier as the season goes on. But and you see there, for him, it actually looked like almost a better benchmark. He's about five boards uh, left yeah. of where he normal is, normally is, but it looked like a better benchmark yeah, looked, for him. Yeah. So here you are with it, and, uh, well, I'm going to guess it's going to be close because you almost always strike on your, ben on your 
Whoa. No. Nope. No. Nope. What happened? It hooked. It hooked a <laughs> it lot. It hooked. Yeah, you could see it just really grabbed and made that motion. Now, we were looking at these cores earlier because we were yeah. we were talking we were looking we wanted to make sure we were up on our dynamic core 2 yeah th that's yeah dynamic core 2 these are the only balls that have this in yep. it and probably are going to be the only balls for now they've designed it specifically, specifically for, this. for this right now so that way they could keep the core integrity size yeah and keep the cover stock the same but still have the same rigidity same hitting power yeah, yeah. It, it allowed them to create some balls with some earlier dynamics and that's what it has. Yeah. Yeah. You think um, the normal quantums were uh, an RG of 2.56 plus? Yeah. This one's at 2.51-ish? Yeah, one. And, um, yeah, the solid was 5.0. Yeah, it was even a yeah. little less. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, but this one's, like, once again, right in the middle. Like, all the numbers are, like, right in the middle of the other two. Yeah, they've right. they've really done a good job designing these cores so they keep their integrity, they keep their shape. Yeah, um, they really, I, I mean, they they had projections for where they wanted these. Um, I think they did pretty good. I'd say definitely. See, you got that. I got that one wider into the dry sooner. Yeah, and it just kept going. Well, you like struck. You moved five right and struck, and then we moved you another four, and allowed you to get around a little bit. Yeah, get out to the friction and who lordy. Yeah. <laughs> this ball loves friction. Like we talked about earlier about it revving up mm -hmm. very early. But it also, for me, with a little bit more uh, side on it and, and, like you said, coming around even more to see what would happen, I got to push it down the lane a little bit more, and you could really see it taking yeah. off. Now we're going to move you again. We're going to move you another four boards because, obviously, if you're going to keep around a little bit, yeah. we got to give you some room. I see this one come around. Yeah, see, that was a little bit Missed too far out. Yeah, just a little bit. A <laughs> little too far out in, in the dry. And, and, and we, you know what? Spot. We saw that with our speed dominant player, too. If yeah. you get pushed too far left too soon, yeah. ball's just not going to recover. Oh, and that's, we talk about, it's a left handed. This one looks really Look good. Look at this. That's gorgeous. Um, it, it is an asymmetric, like we talked about. Yep. Um, asymmetrics have hall, smaller hook windows. So the further the ball goes out, the. L that's bringing that break point closer to you, yep. which means it's going to start that phase sooner. And that was good. That, yeah, that was your, oh, you yeah, with the bonus. the bonus. You yeah. always strike with the yeah. bonus. Does um, anyone ever miss with the bonus? No. <laughs> um, so what I'm trying to say is, like, it's going to shorten that, that phase. Right? Yeah. Because it's already a short phase. And so you're just going to run out of room eventually. Now look at this. For you, we had it optimally. That's pretty good. We'll Within about three to five boards. Yeah. You know, you definitely, that's when you were at 19, you definitely got pushed a little bit farther left yeah. early. But it, in the oil, it looked it looked good. Yeah. Now, here I am with it. Um, boy, you think I hit the pocket with this thing? Ooh. Ooh. See, I had the advantage. I knew that this thing was going to hook already. Yeah. <laughs> so... <laughs> Like, I'm starting out – now, everyone are always argues with me about this. I lined up on 30. Yeah. Um, I was forward rolling this. Just because I line up on that doesn't that, that doesn't mean where I slide. No. Um, I have a bit of a drift. Um, but that's where I am with my well, benchmark on yeah, this. Yeah, and then if you actually probably count where I slide, I know I have exactly five-board drift left. Huh. I think I'm so five boards right. Yeah. So when I say I start on 20, that means I'm finishing on 25. So. Yep. So that one you can see, I, it just didn't quite catch it. So I just adjusted myself a little bit, a little bit less speed because I was overthrowing it. And that looked Money. pretty good. Yeah. Uh, I was worried it was going to be too much ball with that jockey surface. Yeah. Um, so I definitely wanted to keep the ball in the oil as long as I could. Uh, you can see that one did not make it out very far. No, yeah. Uh, you guys, when you got it out to the friction, it definitely, it was seeing it like it, it never missed it. Yeah. Um, unless you were so deep, no ball was coming back. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Um, so I knew that I had to keep this ball in the oil. Um, obviously, that first one didn't go very far. Check out this next one. If I ever come back on screen, where do I? Oh, I've been swallowed up. Of the, uh, the hole with Steve Sachs and Ozzy Gian. No. Um, you can see yeah. just a little bit more. Yeah. I can get this yeah. one. I like the this 
you know, this uh, 0.018 differential. Yeah. When the differential gets too high with my um, with my rev rate and my tilt, the ball rolls forward and it just deflects. Yeah. With the 12, it's a little bit symmetrical, so I find it, it doesn't stop. Yeah. With this one, it's that sweet spot in the middle. That yeah. it rolls. You can see it read that spot down lane. But it's not just going straight forward. Once again, a hybrid being good. I did. Go figure. Look at this. Wow. That was a four pin. I, I yeah. decided to try to get... I went to 40, by the way. I'm now 10 yeah. left of oh, where I started. started. And rather than forward rolling it, I tried to get a little bit more, try to trace it down lane a bit. Oh, yeah. And then that's going to go. It's... I got it wide. Yeah, <laughs> you come around it and get it a little bit further down that lane. It's going to go, I think, and that's why I, I talk about like if you change the surface on it, bring it up and get it to do that without you coming around it. It's it's even more of a monster. Like, oh yeah, um, and this is one of those situations where I would probably, I would actually probably use pads over compound. I know I like compound. Yeah. Um, but being able to keep that cover really fresh and use how fast response it can be. Yeah. Like that's why I said that the three thousand or five thousand pad might really oh, yeah. make it look nice. Now look at this. I started at forty five. Ooh. Yeah, see that it exited between yeah. the eight nine. That yeah. should have been a flat ten. Yeah. And I was gonna say you never got out of the oil. You never no. got outside <laughs> ten and that's all oil people. It's that's the heart of a house yeah. pattern. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so here I am. Oh, I'm going to throw it left-handed now. I don't even remember which shot were his left-handed. <laughs> well, you're barely on, so. That doesn't look that bad. Like, look at that. No. That's good. Yeah. That, that went one out, got out yeah. over the 9-pin, or the 8-pin in this yeah. case. Uh, that was pretty good. So here I am with the bonus. This is, as I always say, my favorite ball. Yeah. Um. And for me, you can see I'm playing it a little deeper this time. There's a little more friction on the lane. So I could shape it a little bit more. Yeah. Um, but that'll match up really nicely because we're always comparing it to the same kind of ball. So. Exactly, yeah. And you can see here with the Quantum Evo Hybrid. That's uh. You're pretty close there. I'm still inside, the, inside it, about two boards to keep it in the oil. Yeah. But So I'd say about two boards difference from there. But then we can take a look at the variation ability. Yeah. And this is what I always like is just is how how much um, you know, how how far we can move. Yeah. How how many different conditions can I use this ball on? Different entry angles yep. and, or attack angles. Oh. Yep. It looks so good. That's I mean, that is fifteen boards variation that I can I can play that ball. That's yeah. that's I guess the new evolution of bowling. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss a show. So until next time, guys, we'll see you lane side.